I swear, I get done playing Half-Life 2 for the umpteenth time, I come back, check on Facebook, and then all of a sudden I see Microsoft has changed its policy regarding the Xbox One, and I'm like, oh, great. Let me guess, they made it even worse in response to all the criticisms, right? I don't know why I was about to do that, brain's dead today, but I read it and I have to admit, I haven't been that surprised in a long time, and before I continue, I just want to say, good job, Microsoft, you, you did your job and listened to people. You took away all the BS that was going to pretty much make your, um, make your console a lot harder than a great white shark getting caught on the beach. So, uh, yeah, I'll give credit where credit's due. Good job. Your system is, your system is going to be a system people will actually be willing to invest money into. But, um, I just want to say that I won't, I still won't be purchasing your console. Oh, what's, what's that? I hear all of you saying, well, Red Vulture, why wouldn't you purchase it now? I mean, they're taking away all the stuff that you don't like. It's not going to be that much different from the PlayStation 4. Well, I'll tell you the reason why. And I'm leaving the uh, an article in the description talking about the whole Microsoft removing it. Now, this article is by Kotaku, so take it as you will. I wouldn't be surprised if the article gets pulled in a bit or anything but it's the one I could find quickest because I just wanted to get my thoughts on this if it is true but see Microsoft I don't really like the fact that the well see here's the thing this is what I can tell from it and I may be mistaken here and if I am feel free to correct me but this is basically your way of putting your tail between your legs and acknowledging the fact that you that you made one of the dumbest decisions a video game company can make, and you pretty much are pretty much like, no, 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 come back, come back, we want your business back. I don't have a problem with that, but it's the way you conducted yourselves during this period that is what makes me not even want anything to do with your new console. So you took your sweet time doing it, and what basically made you decide, okay, we're going to pull back on this, and we're just going to give people what they want, is the fact that Sony bitch slapped you a million times with the fact that they were giving gamers what they actually wanted, which was a gaming console. A gaming console that doesn't really improve much. I'll give you that. But still an actual freaking gaming console. And you pretty much saw right then and there, PS4 was going to win. Granted, PS4 is still going to win, in my opinion, just because of the fact that everything on it encourages gaming, while despite the fact that your console doesn't need to be connected to the internet anymore, it's still a set-top box. So, yeah, congratulations, it's more like a gaming console. But your attitude during the entire ordeal, where you pretty much brushed off criticism the entire time, and were like, no, we're ushering in the age of the future. This is what gamers want. TV, television, TV, television, TV, television, sports, 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 oh, yeah! Get an arm hair and stuff. Yeah, no, um, the only reason you're doing this is because you know for a fact that you're going to lose money off of it. Pretty much, it took Sony slapping you in the face with their monstrous-sized organ. See, if you'd done, see, here's the thing, if you had done this, no, see, here's, let me clarify. I'm glad you're doing this, really. For all the Xbox fans out there, I'm happy for you guys. You're going to get an actual gaming console, really. I'm happy for you guys. But I won't be partaking in the celebrations. Because Microsoft, the only reason they bothered to do this, it wasn't because of the, it was not because of the fact that they care about you and they decide, and they change their minds about how they want to treat you. They changed their minds because Sony put them in their place and they realized they were going to lose to Sony. That's the only reason. Now granted, that's how a business works, but I expect, but I expect a little bit more. And I did expect more from Microsoft. Good for them that they're that they're changing this asinine decision, but I won't be at the party celebrating the fact that the Xbox One is an actual gaming console. Now this time, last time I ever talk about this console again, the last time ever. Enjoy the Xbox One since, as I've said so many freaking times, you could probably play a drinking game off of it. 
It's an actual gaming console. Red Vulture out.